Capricorns! What's up? It's me, Eunice. Actually, I just filmed a video of um, how I take care of my hair. So now that I'm fully done after using a hair mask and things like that, and if you're curious of the products that I use for my hair to take care of my hair, just click right there to watch the video. Today, I wanted to show you how to style your hair in a really quick and easy way. A lot of people have sent me DMs through Instagram and YouTube asking how how I do my curls. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to make just really natural curls. You're just gonna choose the hairline you want. And sometimes I do middle if I wanna look a little bit chic, but today I'm gonna look a little bit feminine. So I'm gonna do it a little bit on the side. So maybe I can just have curls like, like that kind of. And if it's straight, it looks a little bit tacky in a way. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit of zigzag like that. A little bit like that so it can look really natural. And what I'm gonna do is divide it into three or four layers. What I mean by that is, what all you're gonna do is get about this much. Think about it as you're dividing it into four sections. Just get it like that. Or if you have a clip or something, clip it on. I just use my scrunch to do that. And then I start with the bottom one. And I already heated my curling iron and I love to use this. Um, Joan actually gave this to me. Uh, this is Vodana, Vodana 1916. I don't know the exact name, but I shall definitely look for it and put it in the description box below. But it's about this big. So I used to only use a much thinner curling irons that gives you smaller curls. So these days I really like just big natural curls. So this, I feel like it's the perfect size for me. You can feel that it has been heated. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of my hair like that, maybe about that much, just to show you how much I grabbed. So I get it like this, and I get the very bottom part. And just make sure I do it like that. And then I get this part, and chuk 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 chuk. I roll it up like this, and wait. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. You can pick your nose. You can actually pick your teeth. Do whatever you want. Anyways, but after you do it, you take it out, and then I get it like this and hold it for a little bit. The best thing to do is actually blow on your hair so it will quickly cool off. And if you have cold uh, wind on it, then it kind of, look at that, look at that curl. Then it actually like freezes or it just keeps that curl faster. I just hold it like that until the heat goes away. It just makes a more firm curl like that. And same thing with this. Do it towards the end. Hold it a few seconds. And then it makes a C curl like that, right? And then dong, 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 dong. I don't focus too much on the bottom layer, like the first layer, because it's anyways gonna be all hidden from the top layer. I focus a lot on my top part. And look, look, it's really pretty, right? And same thing with this. If you do have time, hold it a little bit like that. Make sure you let the heat go away while you're holding it. All right, so I'm gonna quickly move on and do the same thing with the other curls. Always, guys, remember to be always careful because I think using curling irons, you always like hurt yourself or you get little burns. So dangerous, so. Okay, so now I'm done with this layer. And as I told you, I don't really focus too much on this layer because it's already going to be covered by the other hair on top. So I'm going to put this down for a little bit. And then I'm going to go with my next layer. Um, I'm going to grab the top and divide it a little bit and make sure that this layer 
goes on top so that it doesn't bother me when I do the bottom layers. So now, sometimes it gets mixed with the curled one already, but as you can see, you will be able to tell uh, them apart. So do the same thing here. Yeah, I'm gonna continue with this layer too. Okay guys, so I did another layer. Now is the most important, which is the final layers. Now I'm just gonna leave my hair down. Okay, so it's right here, right? So now you get the mixture of straight hair here and there, and then you have the curled hair here too. So I'm gonna get the front hair right here, and just to get just enough chunk. If you get too much, what happens is it doesn't curl that easily. If you get too little, it curls too much to a point where it's not pretty. So I'm gonna do the C curl again and grab that part and you just roll up like that. And that's it, loves. That's it. And you just wait just a little bit. And then what I like to do, because it's very important, this is the front part, I let it go, right? And there's the natural curl and I follow up where the curl was, the curl ended and I go a little bit more up. Do you see what I did? I'll show you one more time. Get a chunk, do the same thing. C curl first, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Three Mississippi, four. If you do it for too long, you're gonna burn your hair off. And then you just mark the place that you dropped, and there it goes. And you just continue. Where is it? Where is that spot? Okay, there we go. You continue with that curl till the top, wherever it takes you, baby. And if I can, I hold it up again until it cools off. This really makes a difference, guys, of making the curl last a little bit longer or not. And voila! This is usually how I do the curls. And yeah, and voila. So when you're done with your small, tiny little layers, you'll have this fabulous, natural looking wave going on. I left the front part not completely done so I can show you to finish off. And I've heated my curling iron. And when I get the front part, all I'm gonna do is just Always go with the layer, like this. If the curl is like this, I'm not gonna start from here because the curl ends here. So what I do is I find where it curves. Uh-huh, I find a place and then I roll up. So this is basically how I would finish and if I wanted my hair to stay or last a little bit longer, I would have sprayed a little bit of hairspray on and usually um, hairsprays make you last about six to seven hours a little bit longer. So thank you guys so much for tuning in until the very end and I hope that you like uh, this video and if you have any questions, please leave it on the comments below and if you want me to continue doing this series, not even series, but more content or more videos with hair, then let me know, okay? Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye my unicorns!